NBC2 News Today. This morning, we're joined by Dr. Cedar Chris live in our studio to talk about new 2007 guidelines for preventing cardiovascular disease in women. Dr. Cedar Chris practices preventive medicine and weight management in Naples. So, talk to us about this new study. Well, these are the new guidelines that actually have been released by the uh, big consensus expert panel. And what they went ahead and did was trying to give women guidelines to prevent heart disease. And the reason for that is one in three women still dies from heart disease, and it remains the leading killer of women. And many risk factors for heart disease are indeed lifestyle related. So if women know what they should be doing to prevent and what habits they should be stopping in order to protect themselves, it's very important. And one of the things they could be doing is eating better or eating certain items. Yes. The emphasis remains on going ahead and having a healthy intake of fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy. That hasn't changed. The recommendation to still watch sodium is there. The recommendation with regards to alcohol use is to keep it moderate, meaning one glass per day or five per week. So it's actually less than one per day for moderate alcohol. The newest recommendation is that all women should have fatty fish in their diet twice per week. That's fish like salmon, for example. And what they actually specifically recommended is women who actually have heart disease already, or if they have high triglycerides, which are a risk factor for heart disease, they should additionally take fish oil capsules, which is the potent part of the fish that's helpful with regards to heart disease. And that's one supplement. And is there any other supplements that are also approved that have research behind them that people can take other than stacking up on our salmon? Yes. Well, very specifically, these new guidelines actually ask women not to take other supplements because there isn't any evidence that they are indeed helpful. The only one recommended was the fish oil capsules for women with heart disease or the high triglycerides. They specifically recommended not to take high doses of vitamin E, C, and A, which are the antioxidants, uh, because there's no evidence that they are protective with regards to heart disease. They also recommended to stop the recommendation for folic acid for heart disease prevention in women although it is still recommended in women of childbearing age to prevent certain birth defects. So that's a good thing to know because a lot of people will take these supplements thinking that they're doing better for their body, so no E, C, or A um, for this particular cardiovascular yes, prevention. Exactly. And also there are some other things, just to wrap up, we have 30 seconds, what are other things people could do? Um, exercise and keeping weight normal is actually protective for heart disease and probably one of the most important is if you smoke, you need to stop. And the recommendation said not just stop smoking, but maybe women need help, they might need to use a patch or some counseling, but stopping smoking is critical. All right, thank you. Always some good advice from you. Well, if you have any questions for Dr. Cedarquist, all you have to do is log on to her website, drcedarquist.com, or you can click on to our website, nbc-2.com. 1-866-401-3438 or go to www.bistromd.com.